Well, right now we are in a moderate. That's four out of five on our scale. Widespread winds over 80 miles per hour cannot be ruled out. So we're going to see many reports, especially from that narrow corridor of uh, St. Joseph all the way up back to Maryville. So that's the northwestern corner of Missouri. Torrential rainfall when you're not seeing the winds picking up. Hail, we've seen some reports, but not as heavy. Here it is on First Alert Future Scan. We notice that most of it seems to be heading to the east and southeast, but we're seeing what we call back building. So the line will continue to build farther to the west. So that's why I still think this will be clipping Kansas City. As we said, the estimated time of arrival closer to midnight or so, then it all slides farther southeast. Sedalia, Marshall, Belton, heading toward Clinton, Missouri, probably after one o'clock, more like two in the morning. And then as we go toward the pre-dawn hours on your Saturday, still rain will be out there, but by that time, I think that the winds will die down. There'll still be torrential rainfall here and there, but we still can't totally shake the rain until possibly, I'd say about seven o'clock in the morning for everybody. First alert, want to give you that heat. That's the other problem, which is why it's a first alert weather day in two regards. 100, Leavenworth, 96, Independence, Blue Springs. The peak heat index for tomorrow afternoon. And because the front will be closer to us, we'll see another chance of widespread rain. The front will continue to push farther to the southeast, and that's why most of the region from Trenton back toward Kansas City, including Olathe, farther west toward Eudora and Lawrence, under an enhanced risk, which means probably we get to do it all over again. Wind number one, hail number two. Not thinking the tornado threat is that high, but that's going to be a three out of five on our scale, which is why it may not be as widespread as we're getting, but I bet you every bit of 60 mile an hour wind gusts cannot be out of the question by there. And looking at future scan, now picking it up at three in the afternoon tomorrow. As I mentioned, most of the day pretty quiet, but by seven o'clock to about 10 is where we'll start to see these thunderstorms fuel on, and the line will continue to press farther to the southeast. So by this time tomorrow night, between Warrensburg and Sedalia, going farther to the southeast, That'll be the leading edge, but more redevelopment, not quite as heavy, can be expected as we get closer to midnight. But things do improve for Father's Day itself. But we're still going to issue a first alert weather day on your Saturday. That 60% chance I just outlined on future scan coming through during the second half of your day. High temperature still a sweltering 96. But look at what the storms do. It knocks out the humidity, puts temperatures back into the 80s. 66 to 82 degrees then for Father's Day. Still sunny on Monday, 61 to 85. The rest of the work week a little bit unsettled, but not nearly as significant as what we have right now, at least looking at the information. 88 to 90 coming in on Wednesday, Thursday a break, another chance of thunderstorms storms on Friday and next weekend 85 to 91 degrees still feeling a little more like summertime out there.